as Valentine's Day approaches and you're making plans with your significant other, it's nice to know what the experts say about what foods to include in your cooking. Of course, there are certain aphrodisiacs that are considered to guarantee a good time, like oysters, red wine, and chocolate, but we thought we'd check in with a local chef to find out what's on his menu this Valentine's Day. I don't think there are any bad foods to cook. Uh, we try to avoid the like cliche, punched out, beets that look like hearts and that kind of thing. Just uh, good, honest food, cooked properly and delicious. So this Valentine's Day we have a couple different things going on within our company. Um, obviously here at Rod's we're running a fresh eat, uh, showcasing what some of our local suppliers have with uh, Codfathers. We also run a butcher's cut, which is a protein-based uh, feature. And then uh, three different starters, as well as your choice of dessert. Here we're doing a short rib, braised beef short rib. Um, we've also got a carrot and lentil soup with some uh, spice components and uh, some local ginger that we're going to be pickling off from uh, Sunshine Farms. This weekend at uh, the Okanagan table, we have cooking classes all weekend. Um, we're doing a couples class. We try to focus on Valentine's Day, uh, bring them up one down, and spend some time in the kitchen learning to cook together. Tickets for the Sunday night cooking class are still available. You can get yours at Eventbrite. For Casting News in Kelowna, I'm Laura Brooks.